I won the British uh, the National Championship Street Performing, and I kind of am a street performer, but it's, that's what I've always done. Um, but to be honest, the last sort of uh, five or six years, I've mainly been doing just just events, stage events, and corporate events, after dinner speaking events, uh, which is a lot nicer and not not as cold. Um, but I still, I mean, I'll always be a street performer because it's how I learned my trade and it's how I learned how to engage with people. And, and so I heard about this competition, thought I'd have a good chance of winning it, <laughs> and uh, went down and won it. Okay, and I'm going to find the card. This is kind of gross, but I presume you've all eaten and stuff. Um, I'm going to find it using my mouth. <laughs> some people are smiling, some people are looking at me like this. <laughs> Which is the usual thing. Okay, now, when I find this in my mouth, the natural reaction to a magic trick is this. Okay, but feel free to clap and stuff. It makes me feel better about my life. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm available for children's parties, by the way. Okay, <laughs> I will get you to unfold it, but it's hideous. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I got into it quite late, really, because I was, I was always interested as a kid, obviously, but then I became a juggler, and I was a professional juggler for a while. I went to circus school and realised with things like juggling and those sort of skills, I didn't feel like I could really engage with the people. They were very impressed, but it wasn't like a gut reaction I was getting from it. Um, and I'd always been a bit of a hobbyist and a, as a magician, and basically I decided to really focus and uh, dedicate my life to it a bit, really. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go like that, you say stop. I'll show you that all the cards are different. OK, happy? Yeah. All right, Jeff. I got it if you say stop, okay? So you put the card face down. Put it down, okay? Yeah. Doesn't matter where you put it, Jeff, because I'm a magician. I know you. I'm going to look into your mind. I'm going to go, imagine that card in your head, the image of that card. It's the. <laughs> it doesn't do anything, by the way. Isn't it? Two of diamonds. Isn't it? That'd be good, though, wouldn't it? I always take a guess. Sorry about the disappointment. No, I haven't got a clue what it is. Okay, done to it. The two clubs. But watch, watch, watch. One. Two, three. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, hang on, Jeff. Come back here. You're going to see something amazing, Jeff. I'm going to put it in the middle of the deck. Okay, I'm not going to shuffle the cards at any point like that, and it just keeps coming back to the top. Oh, the I have to do magic if people ask me. Um, you find a lot of magicians will do it even if they're not asked, and this all that. But you know, to me, I'm happy to do it. Um, I have a couple of card things similar to what, what you saw today on the video uh, that you can see online, I believe. And um, yeah, there's a few things I've got up my sleeve, so to speak. Okay, because this is one of those cool things that Jeff uses everyday objects, two elastic bands. You've seen Copperfield walk through the Great Wall of China. This isn't as impressive. <laughs> okay, see where I've put the elastic bands? The idea is they can't really escape from each other. Okay, whatever I do, wherever I try and pull or push or anything like that, they're not going to come apart. If I just rub here, watch. Watch, watch. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 okay.